How you guys doing? Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna do something that's a little different. I've been doing a whole bunch of open cups, but I recently saw this video, well, probably not too long ago, but it was by Olga Sobi, and she did a chameleon cell swirl. So that's what we're gonna do here today. I have all kinds of crazy looking colors. They're all gonna go together beautifully. Here, let me just put them all out there so you can see. So, seven colors, plus I have a white. And the white is what I'm gonna swirl over top of the colors, and then we're gonna make our chameleon cells. So, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm excited. I always get excited when I try to do something a little different. It doesn't always end up the way I want it to, but I still get excited nonetheless. So how you guys doing? I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing great, by the way. Can't complain. I'm very ready for this COVID stuff to go away and no longer be a thing. So there's no silicone in any of these colors. It's just my normal mix of uh, Floetrol and paint. The silicone I'm gonna be using to make the cells later on is that um, coconut oil hair serum. But yeah, when I saw the results that Olga got, I had to try this. Cause it's gorgeous. So beautiful. I'm probably layering my colors way too much. But she just got this crazy, it looked like an explosion of colors. So I had to try this. I'm just putting colors where I feel like they would contrast well. Because we're gonna swipe over all this anyway and layer them, so. So let's do the yellow on the outside again. We'll do it on this half though. No, uh -oh, this cup's pouring all janky, watch out. And then a red over here. I think this is gonna look cool. I used to do chameleon cell pours where I would, uh, I would just layer the cup and do a traditional flip cup without any silicone at all. So I've never tried this style, but the one she did was beautiful, gorgeous. So I had to try it for myself. And I can only hope that I'll get something similar to the results that she got. I already like how the colors are kind of going together. Very pretty together. I don't think I want to spin this though. I don't remember if she spun it or not. So, Olga, if you happen to be watching this, if you have any pointers on how to do this better, like if you see any glaring mistakes I'm making, Feel free to let me know. I love feedback. I love constructive criticism of all kinds. This is already looking pretty cool. I'm liking it. Alright, so what do I want to add? stripe of blue here even though there's a dark blue there but then some reds just to fill it in so I should continue the trend over here too the dark blue and red and I'm wondering if it's gonna if these colors are gonna 
mixed together because all I'm doing is a simple little swipe over the top just to layer the colors. Not necessarily for anything other than that reason, just to layer them. Alright, so let's get a little orange over here. And you might think I'm wasting a lot of paint over the edges already. And you might be right. You might be right. But I'd rather use too much paint than not enough, personally. I think maybe just a little yellow in there. Kind of let it blend into that red. Oh shoot, I'm dripping yellow everywhere. Watch out guys. Alright, I think that's good. I think it's good. So, let me take my little bit. I might spin it just enough to get it to coat these parts that's not completely covered. And that's it. That's really all I needed to do. Alright, so a little white. Hopefully it doesn't sink. I know white typically does. Because my spatula is so large, I'm probably going to need more white than that. I don't have that small spatula that she used. Cool. Alright, here we go. Just using the spatula real light to try to layer these colors. getting like a rainbow effect and that's cool and I have somewhat of a heavy hand so I'm trying guys I'm trying uh oh missed a spot hold on wipe off my hands so I'm not dripping paint. Because that would defeat the whole purpose. Alright. Cool. Alright, so here's that coconut oil hair serum stuff. Just going to put a little bit on the tip of this toothpick. If I can set the cup down. Alright. What do you think, guys? Maybe. We'll see. Side, wipe some of that paint off. Wow, those are some really deep blue cells. Look at that. Dang. So I hope everybody's doing well. This is ending up a lot cooler looking than I thought it was going to look. Because typically when I do something for the first time, it doesn't always work out in my favor. If you know what I'm saying. It's really hard for me to get 
what's in my head onto the canvas, but so far, this is looking really cool. Yeah, I think I used too much white. So we're gonna go through and try to get back into the center because I know there's color under that. Well, I know it. We're gonna get to it. All right, so. This is really cool looking guys. These cells are growing so huge. Wow. I think I used just a little too much white. I should have found a different scraper tool for the center. Something a little smaller so I didn't have to put so much white down. Because these colors are nuts. So cool. Dear goodness gracious, look at that. That looks gorgeous. I think I'm gonna have to do another one. Another one with a different scraper tool. Yes, sir. I think I do. Oh, you see that yellow is coming through a little bit. That's cool. I'm trying to make sure there's no paint on the end of this little stick here. That is so cool looking. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? All right. Wow. That's fantastic looking. I'm gonna have to do another one of these. Um, another one with less paint in the center. But let me bring you guys down so you can see it up close. It's gorgeous. My goodness. This came out so crazy. So gorgeous, goodness. I'm gonna definitely do another one of these. With less white in the center, so that hopefully I could get more definition. But the cells, wow. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.